Here we have a company whose current share price is $120. Its dividend forecast is as follows. In year one, the dividend per share will be $4.80. And in year two, the dividend per share will be $5.04. And in year three, it will be $5.28. And we expect the share price at the end of year three to be $150. So calculate the company's required return on equity. First off, uh, we'll look at the timeline okay, from year zero, which is now, uh, and up to year three. So at time zero, we will take the price of $120 uh, just like a cash outflow. Imagine today if you are the investor, if you pay $120 uh, to buy this share, and if the forecast is correct, you would receive the three dividends up to year three. And by the end of year three, we expect to sell the share of, or one share for $150. So based on this, the required return on equity would be the IRR or the internal rate of return on the cash flows. So by definition, the present value of the dividends and the terminal price in year three should be equals to the share price today. And R would be the required return on equity. And of course, if you move $120 to the right-hand side, it comes out as a negative number because that would be like a cash outflow. So we need to find this R, which is our required return on equity. To illustrate this, uh, we will use the financial calculator. So we'll start by pressing the CF button, which is the cash flow worksheet. Uh, remember to uh, clear off any inputs before you start. Uh, if you have any inputs prior to this, press second CEC that clears off the inputs. Then uh, we'll start off with the initial cash flow, which is $120. So that's $120, and you set it as a negative number and press enter to save it. Go down to C01, uh, that would be $4.80, that's 4.8, enter. And going down to C02, that's 5.04, enter. And going down to the third one, you will have to take the dividend in year three plus the terminal price, 150, and that's equals to 155.28. Press enter to save it. Okay, once you're done, of course, it's good to have a quick check uh, to make sure that everything is entered accordingly. Right, and once you're done, you can press IRR and you'll press compute, the CPT button, and you will get 11.62%. So this would be the company's required return on equity uh, based on the dividend forecast and the terminal price.